So simplifying rational expressions is so important that we'll want to take a closer look at it. And since we have to do it so often, we want to see if there's a way that we can simplify that process. So let's try to simplify this expression. So remember, always identify values that make the expression undefined. We need to make sure the denominator isn't 0. So we solve denominator equal to 0. Use your favorite method to find the solution. And we get x equals 4, x equals 1. And we might observe x squared minus 5x plus 4 is 0 when x equals 4 or x equals 1. So we require x not equal to 4 and x not equal to 1. So now we can try to simplify. But remember, we can only cancel if both numerator and denominator are products. And so this means we need to factor both numerator and denominator. But factoring is hard. Let's be clever about it. We've already determined that x equals 4 and x equals 1 are solutions to x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. And so the factor theorem tells us that the denominator must factor as x minus one root times x minus the other root. Now remember, the goal is to find a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. And what this means is that if the numerator doesn't have a factor of x minus four or x minus one, then we won't get any cancellation. So in some sense, it's not worth factoring unless we know it has a factor of x minus 4 or x minus 1. So the real question isn't, can we factor the numerator? The real question is, does the numerator have a factor of x minus 1 or does it have a factor of x minus 4? So how can we tell if the numerator has a factor of x minus 1 or x minus 4? This is where the rational root theorem comes in handy. The rational root theorem guarantees that any rational factors of 4x squared minus 13x plus 9 must be of the form x minus a, where a is a divisor of 9 over a divisor of 4. But 4 can't be written this way, so we know that x minus 4 isn't a factor. Since 1 could be written this way, x minus 1 might be a factor, but we have to check. And so we can use the remainder theorem and synthetic division to determine whether x minus 1 is a factor. So we'll do that division. And since the remainder is 0, then x minus 1 is a factor, and our numerator is x minus 1 times 4x minus 9. And now we have a common factor in numerator and denominator. We can cancel it out and get our simplified form. There's one last important step. Simplification shouldn't change anything other than the appearance of our expression. And so in our original expression, we required x not be 4 and x not be 1. And so in our simplified expression, we still require x not be 4 and x not be 1. And it's vitally important to keep this restriction. So we'll write that down as the last line of our simplification. Nothing really changes if our expressions grow more complicated. Picking our favorite method of solving equations, we find that x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0 when x equals 3 or negative 2. So we require x not be equal to 3 and x not be equal to 2. So let's factor. Since we know the roots of the denominator, we can factor it immediately. Now we need to factor the numerator. But remember, we only care if x plus 2 or x minus 3 is a factor. Any other factorization is unimportant. So the rational factors of x cubed minus 8x squared plus 11x plus 12 must be of the form x minus a, where a is a divisor of 12 over a divisor of 1. Unfortunately, this means that x plus 2 and x minus 3 could be factors. We have to check them out. 
So we'll check out x plus 2. Using synthetic division, we find. And since our remainder is 50, x minus negative 2, x plus 2, is not a factor. We'll check x minus 3, so again, using synthetic division. Since our remainder is 0, we know that x minus 3 is a factor, and so x cubed minus 8x squared plus 11x plus 12 is x minus 3 times x squared minus 5x minus 4. And so now we've written the numerator and denominator as products, and we can drop out the common factors. Can we go further? Well, we already know that x plus 2 is not a factor of the numerator, so no further factorization is necessary. What that means is, if you're bored, it's a long weekend, you've binge-watched everything you could possibly watch on Netflix, yeah, you could go ahead and try to factor x squared minus 5x minus 4, but when you do, you won't be able to obtain any further cancellations. And so as far as the simplification of the problem is concerned, we are done at this point when we write down the original restrictions, x cannot be equal to 3, x cannot be equal to negative 2.